60 Minutes Overtime. Every once in a while, you learn of a whole world you knew nothing about, and you want to let everyone else in on the discovery. Well, that's how we felt about a woman named Sona Jabarte and the instrument she plays called the Kora. The Kora is part of a musical tradition that dates back to a 13th century West African empire, a tradition that's been passed down from father to son in a special set of families ever since. Sona Jabarte was born into one of those five families called griots. As the first griot woman to play the kora professionally, Sona is a musical pioneer. It's hard to believe, watching Sona's mastery of the instrument, that according to the rules passed down for centuries, she wasn't supposed to play it. The sound of the kora has been described as a cross between a harp, a lute, and a guitar. Sona Jabarte is one of the foremost kora players in the world. She performs with her band throughout Europe, Africa, and the U.S as she did in this packed house outside Boston. The music about communication. I need to know that my music can communicate to you. I don't know you, but I need to know I can touch you somehow. So let's talk about the, the actual instrument, the, the kora. How many strings? This has 21 strings altogether. Keeping them in tune is not easy, but it also depends on the construction of your instrument, making sure it's well constructed. What I specialize in myself is the construction of the necks. This part is what I innovate on. Traditionally, you have leather rings which hold the strings in place. So these metal tuning heads are a modern introduction to these instruments, which is very important because it allows me to actually travel with it. Because traditionally or culturally, this instrument will be in a very beautifully steady temperature, you know, most of the time, always heat. But I'm traveling to countries that are extremely cold, it's going in airplanes, it's doing all kinds of things, and this affects these instruments really badly. But with these ones, it allows me to do that. What is the body made out of? It's made of what is called a calabash or gourd. It's something that actually grows naturally in this region of Africa, and you see it in many instruments utilize this because it has such a good sound and resonance. It does, it's rich and deep. Yes, exactly, yeah, yeah. Would you just play us something? We asked her to play a little for us so we could hear the sound of the kora on its own. instrument's 21 strings are all played with just the thumb and forefinger of each hand. Let's talk about Sona. You're a musicologist, mm. so wh what about her as a musician? I, I mean, there's, she's phenomenal. She's fantastic. Her dexterity is, is, is second to none. I mean, the flow, the speed, there's just nothing nothing to compare with it. She's right up there with the very best ones. Banning Air is the senior producer of a radio show called Afropop Worldwide and has studied West African music for How decades. How challenging is it to play that instrument? It, it, it's very. Really hard. Very. It's 21 strings. Yep. And just four fingers. You really have to be like an, like an orchestra, you know, you've got very low notes. You basically have a, a rhythm section in, in your bass notes, and then you've got all this melody stuff, and then you, you can fill in things in between. You really can orchestrate. Mm -hmm. 